My name is Maya Goldenberg, and I'm Associate Professor of Philosophy at the University of Guelph. Uh, I'm author of the book, Vaccine Hesitancy, Public Trust, Expertise, and the War on Science. My work on vaccine hesitancy first started as uh, an undermining of the dominant way people think about vaccine hesitancy. Most of the diagnoses of why people hesitate about vaccines focus on some kind of problem with members of the public's relationship to science. So the public are assumed to misunderstand the science due to, let's say, scientific illiteracy, uh, or they might deny science, that's a little more nefarious, or they think they know better than experts. But none of those characterizations actually reflect what people say when they're asked why they hesitate about vaccines. In fact, people are concerned and have questions, especially about new technologies like the COVID vaccines. And those questions often get shut down uh, or dismissed as foolish or something even worse. Because of that, people struggle to find the information that they need. And they do often end up on, uh, online where they uh, are introduced to active misinformation and disinformation. But what's important and what gets neglected is that people are not generally distrustful of science or have some keen misunderstanding of science, but they are distrustful of the scientific arrangements that bring us vaccines. Uh, for example, uh, people often say that they are uncomfortable with the level of industry influence on biotechnologies, often done at the expense of independent research and review of health products. Many people are distrustful of the power interests that permit racialized people and communities to have poor health care experiences. There are long histories of abuses in biomedical research done on racialized people and medical racism and health injustice is still experienced today. So if you think about vaccine hesitancy as a problem of trust, let's call it a crisis of trust, rather than a problem of scientific understanding, that sends us in different directions for how we want to address the problem. We want to be trying to build trust rather than trying to educate and debunk myths and try to convince people that they somehow don't understand the situation properly. It's important to enter discussions with your friends or with people you know about who are vaccine hesitant with the assumption that it is reasonable for people to have questions and to ask questions about major healthcare decisions, especially when they involve new technologies. Uh, it is unkind and inappropriate to assume that anyone who raises questions is part of some massive conspiracy.